Hi, today I'm going to talk to you about the quote ticker in eSignal 11. So first thing you need to do is make sure that your quote ticker is visible. Okay, so if you can't see the quote ticker, you need to go to Options, Toolbars, and then it's just there, Quote Ticker. You can see it's not ticked, so you can't see it. If I tick it, you'll see that it appears. Now I've already adjusted my ticker a little bit, so your ticker may look different to this. Um, but basically to change the settings or change the symbols you need to right click the ticker if you hover over the ticker it will stop okay so if your ticker is about to go off the screen here and you just want to catch that and see what's going on um, you can do the other thing that you can do from the ticker is right click the right click brings up um, a context menu and in the context menu you can see a few options here so the first thing I'm really going to show you is just how to open in a chart. Okay, so you can go to the open in menu and you've got chart, time and sales, market depth, detailed quotes, news, option chain, research, trade manager, partner links. Um, mostly I use news and chart. Um, I don't I don't really use much else from this ticker menu, um, but I'll show you what happens if you just click open chart. It just pops up a new window. Um, I had to drag it over; it was on my other screen, but there it is. It's just pulled up a chart of Apple. Okay, so that's really all the quote ticker does. It just shows you um, at a glance stocks that you've added to your list. Okay, so let's look at adding things to the list. So come up to your quote ticker, right click, and you see this option here list of symbols. Okay, if you go into list of symbols, this is all of the symbols that are currently in my ticker. Okay, it's mostly indexes, Apple, Google, um, a few of the high dividend. Um, companies like Two Harbors and Annalee Capital Management. Um, I've also got Facebook in there as well just to keep an eye on that. But basically if you want to add something to this list um, you just have to search for it. So if you wanted to add for instance IBM, uh, I would type in IBM and then I hit enter. Okay, And you can see it just jumps down here onto the list. Okay, So IBM is now on my ticker. Now from this menu here you can actually rearrange things so for instance I might want to in fact I'm going to do this now because it kind of helps me I'm going to move Apple up to where Facebook and IBM is I'm also going to move Google up there and I'm going to move my indexes together my indices um, we'll move that up as well okay and then we've got gold uh, futures contract and a, and a couple of other stocks Okay, so that's just kind of regrouped those, moved them around a little bit using these up and down arrows. If you want to delete something out of your ticker, you click on this X here. So I added IBM, I'm not really interested in IBM. I'm going to delete that. Okay, and then we can close this. Now, the next thing that you can do is change the way this ticker looks and fills. Okay, so again, right click and we go to properties. Okay, now from here, you can actually move. Uh, your font, you could make this slightly bigger, maybe font size 18. Uh, you can change the type of font that you'd use. I quite like Calibri. Um, you can also change the color. You can, your ticker probably doesn't have yellow, but I quite like yellow for the symbol. If I can change that to cyan, okay, and I can also make it faster. So if I click OK, you'll see those changes take effect. Okay, maybe you like a ticker that looks something like that. Personally, I like it to be a little bit more subtle, so I'll just go to it again by doing right-click properties, change back to how I had it, Calibri. I had it 11, but I think I'll go 10. Uh, change the symbol color back to yellow, and I'll change the speed back to slow. Okay, so there's basically a few things there that you can do with your quote ticker. Okay, I quite like mine to look like that, and it just helps me keep an eye on the indices, and like I said earlier, a few of the stocks that I follow longer term. Okay, that's it for today's lesson.